Thank you for coming to the session. I'd like to start the architecture of the Microsoft transaction based on the distributed consensus with Kubernetes. Is. My name is John Penistein. I'm working for the Hitachi in Japan. And uh, this is my first time experience and join the international conference in English. So I'm a bit nervous, but <laughs> I'll do my best. Uh, in my experience, uh, I have developed a web server like uh, Patch and your application server like uh, Glassfish for 10 years. And after that, I created a modernization plan for our customer. For example, infrastructure change like the on premise system to the public cloud. And now I'm researching the developing a microservice transaction system. Today, I'll be present a uh, consensus on transaction commit, so-called Paxos commit. This paper was written by two famous people. Uh, first is uh, Dr. Jim Gray, who is uh, famous for the relational database technology. And second is uh, Dr. Leslie Lampard, who is uh, famous for the distributed uh, consensus algorithm Paxos. We are developing a microservice transaction system applied the Packers commit for crowd native customer needs. Today, I will introduce the practice to implement a Paxos commit in the Kubernetes environment. This story originated from the difficulty of achieving the distributed transaction with microservices. So I will explain in this order. First, microservice and distributed transaction challenges, and second, cause of the inconsistency, and third, theoretical approach to prevent the inconsistency, and first, and last, uh, Pascal's commit operation in the Kubernetes. Uh, sometimes engineers, uh, sorry, <coughs> uh, what is the Microsoft architecture? This is a way to develop a system while the dividing several uh, small application and according to the business responsibility boundary. This way causes easy understanding service and engineers can improve system participatory and engineers can choose the best technology for the each services. But sometimes engineers may uh, face difficulty in architecture microservices, uh, particularly in uh, data management. Engineers, engineers would like to implement a microservice in their enterprise system because of the needs of the system agility. And uh, business debt agility may be necessary in some cases to increase overall system agility. So split the business application and debt in the database according to the responsibility boundary and make it a service. The database for service pattern is a famous way to split the data in microservices. As a result, database began to be distributed. And uh, updating data in the distributed DB increased the risk of the inconsistencies. And uh, what is the inconsistencies? I described the examples of the inconsistencies. When the transfer service transfers the money from the bank A to bank B, and bank B withdraw the uh, money by the bank account, and bank B deposits the sa same amount of the bank B account. In this scenario, if bank B cannot deposit the mo uh, money for some reason, like a failure, uh, inconsistency happens between the bank A's amount and the bank B's amount. Uh, the famous way to prevent this type of the inconsistency is so-called distributed transaction technology. But when the engineers construct a distributed transaction system in the microservices, we find the problem that the system will be complex. Please look at the uh, graph. This is a result of the survey on the stack of our engineers. Many engineers think that the complex distributed transactions are challenges and top of the concern to construct a transaction system by the microservices. 
what is a complex distributed transaction. The Microsoft's textbook, uh, Microsoft's pattern with example in Java, includes the benefit of the microservice and the challenges of the applying the global transaction management to the microservices. It mentions DB must be X uh, compliant and cannot choose a modern DB technology as a NoSQL. And second, technology stack is limited to the famous uh, framework that includes the transaction monitor, such as the Java EE or Spring. And third, consistency must be given out uh, to some extent in the distributed system from capitalism. Therefore, first sight in the semantic acid paper, he mentions the mean of achieving the distributed transaction in user application. To resolve the inconsistency problem, Saga design pattern is the most famous approach in the microservice architectures. Saga links the business process together in the work workflow. If the process fails, a compensation transaction is called to cancel the update and ensure the atomicity. But please look at the code sample of the business application. We see the implementation of the transaction management enrolling the business rule. As a result, the business application becomes complex. Why is it complex? Uh, why is it complicated? Uh, that is because three inconsistencies, inconsistencies factored in a distributed transaction are very complex event. There are three main causes. First, business error. Second, system failure. Last, right, right conflict. The first step of the complication, if the update is prevented by the business validation in the DB, it will prevent this update. For example, with the row more than the maximum balance or out of balance, it will be necessary to cancel service that have already been updated. To achieve this, opinion, uh, to achieve this operation, we have to implement, implement this compensation transaction in the application logic. The second step of the complication. For example, when the process goes down during the transaction execution, the transaction state will be lost and the inconsistency will happen. To prevent the inconsistency by system failure like this, a persistent mechanism is needed. But failure handling is also a challenge. Failure can occur at various times and how to set the transaction depends on the case of the error. Thus, the code to deal with the numerous error will be exposed to the application logic. And the last step of the, uh, last step of the complication is write, write conflict. For example, if multiple transactions interfere with the same account area, uh, updates will be overridden and inconsistency will occur. To prevent this con inconsistency, concurrency control is needed. The lock is a type of the concurrency control and the lock information itself becomes a state. The lock information must be the persistent. After that, the call to deal with the con concurrency control will be exported to the application logic. Please uh, look at the picture below. What we originally wanted to do was simply to have the two service update. When distributed transactions are implemented, these three factors complicate the application and infrastructures. This is the root cause of the uh, complication of the transaction management. The saga itself has only business error cap uh, capability and cannot deal with the failure and or right right conflict. In particular, the saga is seriously flawed when it comes to the right right conflict. Therefore, no matter how hard we try, we cannot prevent the inconsistencies. Uh, there are already asterisk mechanisms in the academia to prevent the right-right conflict in the distributed transaction. That is a 
principles prior of commitment ordering paper from 1992. This paper said that the only mechanism to prevent the right-right conflict in the distributed transactions are two-phase locking or avoiding cascading abort. And SAGA doesn't have this technology. Today, I don't mention the detail, but and this is this academic opinion. However, uh, many microservices engineers don't know the fact why. Uh, we think that academic affiliation is uh, fragmented. Microservice boundaries like Chris Richardson prefer to cite a semantic acid and a saga paper, but failure and right right conflict uh, solutions are inadequate in these papers. On the other hand, there is a faction that uh, concerning how to prevent fair and right-right conflict automatically. In the fraction, there are a commitment or writing paper and distributed consensus for the failure paper. For now on, we'll explain what happened when we implement the theory by this faction. One of the technology in the faction is the two-phase commit which was called the anti pattern of the microservices. Two phase commit provide concurrency control. Two phase commit acquires a lock during the DB update and the locks release after the agreeing atmosphere. This is so called two phase locking. Two phase commit aggregate as a DB update possibility, like a prepare OK, and finalize to commit when all all are prepared, okay. This is the so-called atomic commitment. The two-phase commit has two merits for the engineers. The uh, first is to prevent the inconsistency by the right-right conflict. And second, the exposure of the transaction control function to the application can be very small, at least, uh, one line like a JTA at my transaction. This reduces business logic coupling. We first attempt to reproduce the mechanism in the Kubernetes environment. Uh, we have tried to implement a separate transaction management architecture shown here. I apply my prototype atomic transaction annotation as a library to the transaction application on Quarkus. A prototype JDBC driver is applied to the bank application and Quarkus. From there, the resource manager process is launched as a sidecar for the bank APP, and transaction manager is started as a separated pod. The transaction manager and the resource managers are built into the glass fish and the JTA and transaction infra was used to make them independent. First, Atmat transaction internally numbers the transaction ID at the same time as transfer API is accepted. Then the transaction ID is allocated to the REST API head of field and passed around. Transit service called bank wheel with the API and bank B deposit API after the API call. The transaction ID is passed internally to the JDBC driver in the bank services. The JDBC driver internally passed the transaction ID and updates SQL to the resource manager. The resource manager process updates SQL to the DB. In addition, before the update, the SQL is a lock by select for an update. When the, DB, uh, when the DB update is finished and the control is returned to the transfer service, Atma transaction and post processing is executed to prepare to the transaction manager. After that, the transaction manager sends a prepare to the resource manager. After that, atomic commitments to start. The DB return update availability like a prepare OK or NG to the transaction manager. If all returns are prepare OK, the transaction manager sends a commit to the resource manager. If even one prepare end is found, the transaction manager sends a rollback to the resource manager. At the same time, the transaction manager passes the result of the atomic commitment in the transaction log. 
After that, DB released a lock. The transaction manager responds to the result of atomic commitment. This method keeps the application simple. Nevertheless, this two-phase commit has uh, well-known weaknesses. Uh, that is a single point of failure problem of the transaction manager. In particular, the transaction manager process is down in the uh, atomic commitment phase and the transaction state is lost. DB lock is not released and the spontaneous rollback breaks the atomicity. This is a common known as a heuristic hazard. To prevent the heuristic hazard, it is necessary to deal with the system switch operation of the past system storage called primary backup. However, IT fragmentation can easily occur in the crowd, uh, crowd environment. If fragmentation makes it difficult to prevent a heuristic hazard, there are two reasons why the crowd environment and primary backups are incompatible. Uh, first, Primary backups uses a fencing equipment to switch systems. But the uh, promise for the primary backup is that fencing equipment must be able to receive the failure notif notification immediately. In an environment such as a cloud, sometimes the failure notifications uh, delay and a uh, system does not switch over. Second, the single co uh, coordinator itself becomes a single point of failure, like a primary backup two phase commit or saga. Therefore, the mechanism to overcome the single coordinator's single point of failure will end up having a single point of failure. And by taking a countermeasure against it, the system will gradually become dependent on the hardware. The crowd worry is to abstract the hardware from the software stack. But if you increase the dependence on the hardware, there is no point in the building the system in the crowd. I will discuss it from the theoretical aspect of computer science again. There is a so-called failure model uh, in academia. The model describes the severity of the deal with the IT system failure. Saga and two-phase commit can only operate in the failure-free environment. Primary backup is a protocol that works properly in synchronous fail stop. That is an environment where there is no communication delay or breakup. The crowd is an environment where the infrastructure is hidden and distributed and happen communication delay sometimes. So it is very difficult to apply second to phase competent primary backup in the crowd by economic theory. And two phase commit is a theory before the crowd is popular. So new theory is uh, required to construct a distributed transaction in the crowd native system. That is to incorporate the consensus in the failure environment theory that Dr. Lampert and Dr. Lynch have worked on. In other words, we adopted protocols such as a Paxos or a Raft, which can reach a consensus even in the distributed failure environment. Let me explain what Paxos is. Paxos is a consensus mechanism using a Google Spanner for the multiple database replication and blockchain ledger replication. What is a consensus? Consensus means that a group of the multiple participants obtain a single result. This is a bit confusing, so I will use an example of the parliament system as a Greek island, uh, Greek island of Paxos. In the parliament democracy, the the process of the enacting a law is the submission of the bill to the parliament discussed by the members and majority vote and agree or rejection. The parliament system on the Paxos Island is unique in the original Paxos paper, the part-time parliament. The secretary and the legislator were part-timers. The secretary had their own legions, but the Congress wants to have a single vote result for the bill. 
So it is necessary to have a consistency among the ledgers in order to achieve this consistency. Paxos incorporates a mechanic, uh, mathematical theories into the parliament system and the communication of the legislator. Please look at the vote process in the Paxos Island. Legislator 1 makes an agree process, uh, proposal. Then, each of the legislators vote for the against the proposal. Another legislator 2 may make an offsite proposal, and all the legislators will finally converge on the agreement through a consensus process such as a discuss. Then, Secretary 1 records the result to the ledger by the majority rule, and now the legislator and sec uh, secretary on the Paxos Island are part time, and so there is a possibility that some secretary and the legislator will go home after the board is over. If the secretary lives with the ledger, the result of the board will be lost. On the other hand, there is a desire to keep track of the board result even after some people have left. What should I do? Uh, you can vote again and another, uh, another secretary can record the result of the board. The majority rule, so-called quorum mechanism, works here. Even if one of the five legislators leaves, the previous vote result and the later vote results will be the same. In other words, if one process is down, but the majority of the process are still alive, consistency can be assured. This is known as the pigeonhole principle and the mathematical theory. It is very difficult to explain, sorry. Uh, if you are interested in this theory, please look it up. So where should this Paxos mechanism be mounted? A simple solution is, uh, repli uh, to re simple solution is to replace the primary backup storage area with no SQL implemented a raft to a Paxos or something. For example, storing the transaction log in the Redis. But this approach is not efficient in the term of the uh, number of uh, communication for consistency and transaction termination. It is extrem extremely efficient to implement the Paxos as an atomic commitment. The problem with the heuristic is aggregate the updatability of the resource participating in the distributed transactions. If this is a primary backup, it will be delayed or not switch in the crowd. Let's apply the Paxos and parliament system to the atomic commitment. Resource prepare updatability makes the input for the Paxos protocol. The richer process to the prepare token and voltage token after exiting the Paxos protocol finalize a commit while logback. Since the legislator have a fair tolerance and availability, even if one legislator falls, a commit to a rollback can be finalized immediately. Let's look at the example of this uh, using the Kubernetes. The characters are most the same as a two-phase commit, but in the lower left corner, uh, please uh, uh, place the redundant coordinator in the port. We we'll prepare it as a port for the bank A and for a port for the bank B. Here we will first update the DB. This update process is not really different from the two phase commit. And next, uh, send a prepare from the transfer service to the side called of the bank service. At that time, the side can create a box to collect the consensus porting result and the transaction state of the bank services. Next, the DB returns the prepare OK at this point. The sidecar fills the transaction state as a prepare OK. After that, the sidecar of the bank here broadcasts this prepare OK to the redundant coordinators. The redundant coordinators persist in the updatability like a uh, like prepare OK bank A in its own volume. And coordinator send updatability to the sidecar branch of the bank B. This means that the bank B sidecar now know the updatability of the bank A. Branch 
branch one of the bank A and branch two of the bank B are both prepared. Okay, so the bank B service finalized the commit state to the DB. The redundant coordinator for the bank two sends the updatability of the bank B to the side cards of the bank A. And uh, that's the same. Uh, even if one of the redundant coordinators go down, if the majority of the uh, coordinators are still alive, the parameters can commit immediately. And if redundant coordinators act more, uh, the coordinator's availability is close to the 100% and the probability of the fewest hazard can be as close to 0% as possible. In the current implementation, the redundant coordinator is pushed into the single pod, but if the coordinators are geogra geographically distributed or rearranged, it will be possible to provide uh, like a disaster recovery and so on. Now, to summarize, uh, there are multiple challenges to the achieving the distributed transactions in the microservices. First, uh, implementing transaction management to uh, complicate microservices systems. And second, technology stack is uh, limited to the uh, framework that includes the transaction monitor, such as a Java EE or Spring. And third, consistency must be given up to some extent in the distributed system from capitalism. And last, DB must be accept uh, compliant. Uh, regarding this first issue, it was confirmed that the atmac, transa atmac transactional can be used to the describe transaction boundary simply. The second issue is that the separated of business application and transaction control will allow us to solve the problem. We have standardized the API in, uh, interface between business application and transaction control components. Find the standard, uh, we can create a library in the language such as Go or JavaScript that works the same as the trend at Mac transaction. And this is from the cap series. The issue, the uh, consistency must be given up to some extent in the distributed system. And that all CAP attribute can be guaranteed by the Paxos. What does this mean? The CAP series, uh, CAP conjecture is a hypothesis that uh, distribu distributed system cannot satisfy consistency and availability and partition tolerance all at the same time. And in the crowd, availability and partition tolerance are important, so consistency is ensured by the eventual consistency. In contrast, we have been following the Google or Dr. Lynch's academic proof of the cap. If the partition does not occur, both consistency and viability can be achieved. And partition really occurs in the real system, even, and even if it does occur, Paxos can prevent the lack of consistency because Paxos provides a redundancy and wait for the commit during the partition occurred. And when, uh, con when consistency and the partition tolerance are required, 100% of viability cannot be achieved. However, redundancy can bring the availability as close to 100% as possible. In other words, Using distributed consensus algorithms such as a Paxos or a Raft or something, in effect, consistency and availability and partition tolerance can all be satisfied and simultaneously. The first and the final point, we are still consider the issue that the DB needs to be the XFL compliant and that more than DB such as no SQL can be selected. However, uh, this is can be solved by the, uh, putting a transaction wrapper on non-SQL, like the uh, SCALA DB or Cherry Gaussian paper approach. In other words, 
the Microsoft transaction problem can be solved by the using all of today's technology. If you encounter any, uh, any of these crowd or Microsoft transaction challenges, please contact me. I'm sure there are many areas we can solve. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you for hearing about my session.